Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be solving this interesting integral from my friend U.S. Descartes and Twitter, so stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back. Also, very interesting integral question from my friend U.S. Descartes on Twitter. So the question is for A and B being positive real numbers, and A is greater than B. Evaluate the integration from negative infinity to infinity, then we have sine AX times sine BX over X squared and DX. For this question, we can rewrite this integral as now 1 over 2. And integral from still negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, then we have now cosine of a minus b x and then minus cosine of a plus b divided this by still this x squared and then we have dx then again we can also rewrite this as now just integral from now 0 to infinity of everything else that's the same cosine of a minus b x now minus cosine of a plus b divided this by x squared and dx okay then this is the time that we need to use the integration by parts right so we can rewrite this as now the first term has to be k negative cosine of a minus b x and then minus cosine of a plus b and then divided this whole thing by now just the x and then we are considering from 0 to infinity okay then the second term is now minus now integral from 0 to infinity then we can make this as now um, parenthesis a minus b times the sine of a minus b x okay and then we have minus a plus b of sine of a plus b x okay and then divided this whole thing by now just the x and we have dx right so I'll be calling this first one as number one and the second expression as number two we can easily check this first expression has to be equal to zero right so for this one cosine of a minus b x minus cosine of a plus b x divided by x and then from 0 to infinity this is the same thing as first of all 0 minus now the limit x is going to 0 all this whole thing again cosine of a minus b x now minus cosine of a plus b x okay divided this whole thing by x if you use the L'Hopital's rule then this thing is equal to 0 too so this Second expression is also equal to 0, so 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Which means this first expression has to be equal to 0. Then it's all about analyzing this second integral. Okay, then let's analyze the second integral, right? We have negative integral from 0 to infinity and everything else. So we can rewrite the second integral as now that plus a plus b and then integral from 0 to infinity then we have just sine of a plus b x divided this by x and dx and then minus now integral from 0 to infinity then we have a minus b times sine of a minus b x over x and dx okay But then again, we have this expression. So for example, in general, if like for um, alpha, that is a positive number. And if you're working for integral from 0 to infinity of sine of alpha x over x and dx, 
In this case, we can set your y is equal to just alpha x. Then this is going to be the same expression as now. Integrating from 0 to infinity of just a sine of y over y and dy. So that's why this value is equal to pi over 2. So that's why the answer for this question, the integration is simply as, now i is equal to pi over 2 times okay, a now plus b. a plus b now minus a minus b. So that's why this is the same thing as pi over 2 times, now a is cancelled out and we have b plus b, that is 2b. So. The answer for this question is simply cancel out B pi. That is the final answer for this question. So like I said, pretty interesting integral question from my friend U.S. Descartes on Twitter. So I'll be back with more videos and more questions like this sometime soon.